Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Straight to Blu-ray. I am James, and today is Monday, so this means it is going to be a new video series that I am starting. This is going to be called Obscure Movie Monday. I'm just going to keep doing some of these videos until one of these sticks that people actually enjoy watching. So uh, basically, like I said, this is going to be Obscure Movie Monday. I'm going to be doing these every Monday where I kind of go over an obscure movie that um, I've either seen before and watched recently or just something that was a blind watch I've never seen before. And uh, I'm going to go over all the good stuff with that one. And like I said, it's going to be obscure, something that's not a super major, you know, Marvels type of movie or something like that. Something that's a little maybe under the radar that a lot of people don't know about. Um, so for the first one, for this first episode, uh, this one I've seen as a kid. I watched it again recently because I got the 4K edition of it. Um, if you're older, you may have heard of this. But if you're younger, this may be something that's new to you. So for the first one, we are going to go with... Cloak and Dagger from 1984. Hey guys, thanks for checking out the channel. If you're new here, please think about hitting hit that like and subscribe button. I try to put out a couple of videos each week on various movie-related topics, including this new video series uh, that I'm calling uh, Obscure Movie Monday. Uh, so like I said, I, I picked up uh, or watched this one. Uh, this is uh, Cloak and Dagger. This is, like I said, the 4K edition. This is from Vinegar Syndrome. I'd actually been waiting a while because this was only available on DVD for the longest time. I was kind of hoping maybe it would get the Blu-ray treatment when they went right past Blu-ray uh, straight to 4K, so can't, uh, can't complain about that one. Um, this is a movie that I've seen just uh, as a kid. I watched this a ton. Like I said, this came out in 1984, um, and this is one of those ones that I watched a bunch. It's kind of, um, you know, if, if you think of like Spy Kids, that was supposed to be kind of like a, a James Bond-ish for children or for kids. Um, this is kind of that before that. This is kind of a, like a spy kind of thriller one that, that was for kids. Um, although I think, you know, adults can can still enjoy it as well. It has enough in it that it's not unenjoyable for an adult. Um, basically, the premise is, uh, like I said, this came out in 1984. It stars Henry Thomas. Uh, from He was Elliot from E.T., so I believe E.T. came out in 82, so this would be a couple years um, after E.T., so you've got Henry Thomas, uh, who, who's a young boy in this one. It's also got Dabney Coleman in it, who plays his father. Um, his father is in the, uh, I believe it was the Air Force, um, and his mother had passed away recently. They don't really get into when exactly, but they infer that it was recently. So it's just his dad and him kind of by themselves. Uh, his dad works for the Air Force, so he's always kind of on the military base. So uh, Henry Thomas's character kind of... Basically, a latchkey kid, uh, you know, like a lot of folks, a lot of us were in the uh, in the 80s, you know, kind of left to his own devices. You know, dad goes to work, he's just kind of doing his own thing. He has a friend, a young girl that's a friend of his as well. And uh, his character basically has uh, a big imagination. He's, he, you know, he, he's into like spy stuff, and he has this imaginary friend uh, called Jack Flack who's supposed to be this like super spy and it's also played by Dabney Coleman looks just like his dad. Uh, and they go on these adventures, uh, you know, together and he's got the fake grenade and all this stuff. So it's all just kind of a play make believe type of thing. Uh, like he's pretending to be a spy with his imaginary friend, Jack Flack. Well, come to find out he goes to this building. Um, and then he actually kind of gets into this actual, you know, espionage, spy type stuff. Um, if you're old, you, in, at my age anyway, you might remember the old Atari 5200. That's kind of what this is based off of. He gets ends up getting a, a this Atari 5200 uh, game disc, or cartridge, I guess is what it was called back then, of, of a game called Cloak and Dagger, which is just a regular game, but implanted in this game apparently are some secret documents, government documents that these bad people want. Anyway, Henry Thomas's character end up ends up getting a hold of this game from this scientist. Um, and he's basically trying to, you know, kind of get away, deciding what he needs to do with it. And of course, bad people are chasing him. So like I said, it's kind of a, you know, a younger kid's version of, of a spy thriller. Of course, nobody believes him because he's just some crazy kid. So nobody actually thinks that uh, he's after them. So, you know, it's, it's definitely a uh, Definitely an interesting movie, but like I said, even though it's kind of kids themed, I think adults would like it too. Um, like I said, it's got uh, Henry Thomas in it. It's got Dabney Coleman. It's also got William Forsyth in it, who usually plays kind of like those rough or even like the bad guy characters. And then he plays like a, a, a computer geek in this one, runs like a video game store. 
Uh, so it's kind of funny to see him in that because I don't really recall him as in anything else other than kind of the rough and tough, you know, bad guy. So it's, it's kind of interesting to see him as the dorky video game nerd. Um, but just a really, just a cool kind of, like I said, kids, family movie. Definitely something that I think most people can enjoy. For me, it's like nostalgia. So I kind of like to go back to it. Um, but I think it's something that like, you know, even if you haven't seen it before, you can still get, you know, enjoy it. Um, so like I said, this is the, uh, this is from Vinegar Syndrome. This is the 4K uh, collection it came with. So it's, you know, it's definitely got that thick, not just the movie. Um, it basically just kind of um, opens. It's, it's got like a magnet. I think I just hit the mic. Hopefully I didn't mess it up. Um, it's almost like a magnet here. So it just kind of, uh, try to do this without dropping anything. It just pulls open here. So you've got, this is basically um, the uh, what the video game looks like, one of the levels. And you can see here, and it's got this nice thing, little latch here. You can pull stuff out. That way you don't have to worry about damaging anything inside. Um, so you have here, this is supposed to be like a replica uh, of the disc. Now, as you can see on there, it says Ultra 4000. That's basically for copyright purposes. It, it Normally, this would have said Atari and then 5200, but obviously there's copyright issues. But this is basically meant to, like the case on an Atari 5200. This is exactly um, what the case would have looked like. And it's funny, there's actually a typo. They have like a, on the back, they give you what the movie's about. There's actually a typo on there that I'm shocked that nobody picked up. Um, it says, you know, it goes over everything. It says, but no one will believe his incredible story in face... There's only one person left that can save him in face. Instead of in fact, they put in face. Shocking that nobody picked up on that. But yeah, a little typo on the back, but that's all right. We'll forgive vinegar syndrome. But uh, and then this is the, uh, the actual case. The movie comes in. That is supposed to be like a replica of the car, an Atari 5200 cartridge. And in the in the uh, movie, that's what the game looks like. The uh, cloak and dagger game. And then um, you do get the um, this is the Blu-ray version. And then this is the. 4k edition of the um, of the movie and then you got the back here go over some of these uh, special features basically it's got a commentary track with uh let's see screenwriter tom holland moderated by filmmaker joe lynch Kana uh, konami codes and cult classics programming cloak and dagger a brand new extended making of documentary featuring inter interviews with and then there's like a bunch of actors actresses uh, I'm not going to read every single one. Um, you get Loud and Clear, a brand new interview with actor Henry Thomas. Uh, archival interview with director Richard Franklin. You get an archi archival Q&A with Richard Franklin from 2001. Extensive behind-the-scenes still gallery, location featurette uh, by then and now reshoots. Cloak and Dagger, the Ar Atari arcade game, a mini doc by Vintage Arcade Gal, and then multiple uh, TV spots. So definitely cool. Um, just the whole packaging. I mean, it's even got a... A little price tag on there, nine nine ninety seven, with the old vinegar syndrome, and then um, also included on the inside, if I can open it back up. Um, and it's also good; it's got that magnet on there, so you don't have to worry about it coming open. Um, you also get this cloak and dagger booklet. It's just like the standard booklet you would get with a any kind of movie. Um, you know, it's going to have various uh, you know art stuff like that. You know, stuff about the movie. Yeah, uh, little little tidbits on the production, you know, all that good stuff uh, that are kind of included in that. So basically, you get the, like I said, you get the the uh, movie with the slip cover, and then you get the booklet, and that's what's included in the uh, cloak and dagger packaging uh, on that one. So like I said, if you're a fan of the, of the of the movie, I definitely recommend getting this. Vinegar syndrome can be kind of pricey on some of these. Um, they're not going to be cheap. It's probably going to be like around thirty five, forty dollars. If you want to pick that up, but um, if you don't, you just want to see the movie. I'm not sure. It's probably not streaming. Um, like it's it's obscure, hence the <laughs> reason it's on this. Um, so I'm not sure if you can actually stream this or anything, but you could always try to pick up the DVD or something like that. I think it's definitely worth uh, a, a checkout um, if you've never seen it before. And then, it, like I said, if it's just a, something you remember from the childhood nostalgia, you might want to think about picking up the uh, the 4K Blu-ray. All right, guys, let me know in the comments down below. Do you like this movie series? Is this something, or video series? Is this something you want to see more of? Just obscure movies and, you know, stuff like that. Just things you may not have heard of or may not have seen. Kind of uh, recommendations on stuff. Uh, let me know what you thought about it. Have you seen Cloak and Dagger? Did you enjoy it as much as I did as a child or as an adult? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.